Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. A uh, little bonus tutorial for you. 3D printers are becoming more and more common and uh, you might be wondering how you could use Maya to uh, potentially generate a model to be 3D printed at some point. Um, now Maya does have the ability to output a .stl file which is the kind of file that you need to uh, export if you want to use it. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, but one of the most important things is that because Maya is not set up to uh, just generate objects for production and for engineering purposes, it's not driven by dimensions in the same way. Now that's really good because it allows you uh, freedom of creativity when you're interacting in the scene, the uh, ability to maneuver and um, pull around vertex uh, and generate the complex shapes that you need. The downside is that uh, because it's not driven by the dimensions, it's very easy to get lost and to not produce things that are as accurate. So there's a few tools we can use to help us uh, get things a little bit more accurate. Uh, first of all, when you're moving about uh, points and objects, um, you should use the um, uh, translates and uh, exact uh, dimensions inside your uh, channel box uh, to try and help you get things to exact dimensions. Um, the next thing you can do is you could, uh, if you've already made an object, you want to check the size and such like, if you go into create and um, you can go to measure tools and in here you've got a distance tool, parameter tool, arc length tool. So you could uh, you can actually play around with um, this and it will tell you distances and sizes. So if you're trying to get something accurate, the problem is well, what does this mean? 14.280499, uh, what does that mean? Um, is it centimeters, meters? Uh, how do you know? Well, if you go into Window, Settings, Preferences, and go to the Preferences tool, and then go right the way down to the Settings, um, just click on that, and then in here you can see that it says centimeters in linear, degrees in angular. So uh, that tells you what dimensions you're working in, and when you export it, it will be exported with a, these dimensions. So at the moment, this is 15, or just under 15 centimeters in size. Now, the last thing you need to do before you start uh, outputting, or the first thing you need to do when planning to make something for outputting to 3D printer, um, is to make sure that there are no internal faces that you don't want to be there. Um, if you imagine that you have a uh, circle, or a sphere, sorry, um, and I duplicate that sphere and scale it in. Now, uh, what a 3D printer will see here is um, from a side view is uh, unsolid, solid, unsolid. So what you'll effectively have is a hollow uh, inside here. Okay, so a, a, a hollow sphere. Um, and if you've got overlapping sections, so I'll just get rid of those. If you've got overlapping sections like you have here, where you've got two objects that look like a solid, but they're overlapping, we've got faces going on the inside, it's gonna do exactly the same thing. It's gonna go solid, and there's going to be a patch in here that's unsolid and solid. Now that's a problem because actually these two parts are going to very easily come apart in a 3D print. So you need to find a way of modeling which um, gets rid of those internal faces. Uh, now one way of doing that, oh, just I can't see inside there. Um, so one way of doing that is to uh, Boolean uh, the objects. Another way to do it is to, when you model it, to model it in a, in a way so that you don't get those faces happening. Um, so in this case we can just boolean these surfaces together with a union and it will cut through and get rid of those faces you can see inside there so apart from having a just a flat face before now I can see straight through the object so this would come out just as one solid block inside a 3d printer um, so all I need to do uh, with my model I've got it to the right size um, uh, let's export it so you go to file um, and uh, export all or export selection. I've got the selection at the moment. And inside there, the option should be there for being able to export as an STL uh, dot 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 DCE. Um, and that is what you want to export as uh, to send it to your um, printer driver. In most cases, uh, your printer driver will read that kind of document. Um, <clears throat> and that's that'll be ready to print, at least uh, have a go and have some fun. I hope that's uh, useful for you, and I will catch up with you again soon.